Stop, we're not supposed to break it. You have to break it. This looks like something that you would see in like a movie. Oh no, we got the red light. What is up guys, welcome back to What's Inside. We have a fun video today that includes a couple of challenges thanks to our friends at Dyson. And thanks to Dyson for sponsoring this video. They wanted us to show you the mess that we have behind the scenes of our filming. So this is our filming room, this is like our office, at least our temporary filming room. And we have some messes. This is from the juggling video where we cut open these juggling balls. It's very messy! Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> our floor is a mess. Look at all these in here. Uh, okay, that's, that's good, that's good. Look at all these little soft feathers. It's a giant mess. Well, today Dyson sent us a vacuum. This cordless vacuum, you can see right there, it's called the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute. So earlier today, March 6, 2018, James Dyson announced that Dyson will no longer be designing upright vacuums. That's pretty crazy. This vacuum right here is cordless. We're gonna go more in depth and unbox this thing and show you how it works and then we have a challenge for the way that we are going to take this apart that's gonna be unique. First, let me show you the power of this thing as we clean up our office and the crazy mess that's in here. Look at the bucket. Look at that. We've already got a bunch of stuff in there. I could change a baby on this table and they wouldn't even have to clean it first. What have we learned so far? It really sucks. Our room is entirely clean right now. It's completely clean. This is the Dyson Cyclone V10 Absolute, all set up with all of its different attachments. Take that off, put this one on here, and you can go like that girl in your car and clean it. Small places, you don't have to have this giant one. It looks tough. This looks like something that you would see in like a movie, like, like some futuristic movie. It says it's a seven cell nickel, cobalt, and aluminum batteries, up to 60 minutes cord free. Whoa, this vacuum really should be able to do it all. The machine power behind this vacuum was truly impressive, and this is a cordless vacuum. You can maneuver it around different places. I don't have to worry about the cord. I was in a small room and there were lots of things everywhere. This is meant to be for big projects. So it definitely passed the first test. Here is the challenge that Dyson gave us with this vacuum. And Lincoln doesn't think I can do it. No, I don't. The challenge is to take it apart without destroying it. Not destroy the vacuum. I'm not going to use an angle grinder. I'm not going to use a sledgehammer. I'm not going to use a hatchet. Think I can do it now? You doubting me now? Look at all the tools I got. I even got caution tape. Yeah. Watch out because you're about to get burned. I still am doubting your abilities to do Look this. at all these tools. I have like 50 different little pointy things right there. I can't take this negativity in my workshop room as I take on one of the biggest challenges I've ever taken. You go out while I do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm not just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this in less than 20 minutes. Okay, I'm starting a time right now. Get out of here. Get I'm out, out of here. here. I'm out of here. I'm, gonna I'm not sure if I can do here. this. You got 20 minutes. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Do I even have a screwdriver? Power tools. This is hard doing things the proper way. I don't know how some channels do it. I can't even take the battery off. Hey, there's no screw. Ah! I got this off. You have to use, you have to break it. You have to. Okay, here we go. I think I can do this. I just need some pressure. Okay, a scratch does not count as a break. This is gonna take longer than 20 minutes. Don't give up. I'm gonna skip to this one. <laughs> no, no, stick with one thing, the battery. It'd be so easy with a Dremel or a sledgehammer. Never give up, kids. You can do anything if you set your mind to it. Yes, I got this part off. Yes, I did something properly. Awesome. Hey, Lincoln. Can I have another hour? No. I need more, it's 20 minutes is up and I haven't taken it apart yet. Fine, you get an hour. I get an hour. 
how do you like me now? Huh? Take things apart the proper way? Huh? How do you like me now? Huh? Huh? It was not easy. It was not as fun as an angle grinder. Huh? Huh? Hey, Lincoln! How do you like me now? Well, you took a total of an hour and five minutes. I don't really think that I broke anything. Like, I think you can kind of put this back together. Yeah. Like, that's... even right here on the batteries, if I push it, the blue light turns on. So that means you didn't cut any of the wires or anything. Yes. This right here is my proudest achievement. This is your actual Dyson Digital V10 motor. I would just think that the motor would be so much bigger than this, because it's it's smaller than I expected. I thought it was gonna be like the size of Take this. Up. Right, like that is huge. Thing. But it's powerful, and it's super, super powerful. It has a few different scientific things that are going along with it. You see these right here that look kind of like pistons with spark plugs on a car, maybe? They call this the 14 concentric cyclones, array cyclones? The air goes through that. So it's oh. supposed to go through, they're evenly distributed through each one of these to come wow. down into this. I like that it actually has like an actual sink on it, like a faucet. I always like directions that you don't have to read anything for. It's a whole machine HEPA filtration system. These batteries, they use them in electric skateboards and electric cars also, so it's not only in this powerful vacuum. Which is cool because we've done videos on electric skateboards where we found the batteries, they look just like this, and we've done videos on electric car batteries and they look just like this. So this is the way of the future. It's really cool when these, when you press this down, these blue lights turn on. Oh no, we got the red light. That's the first, I haven't seen that. So that means that the battery levels probably is low. So these batteries are nickel, cobalt, and aluminum batteries that will give you up to 60 minutes runtime with your vacuum, which is pretty lot. rad. Yeah, 60, 60 minutes, minutes is a lot. Just walking around, being able to use this thing cordless. What's inside of this giant copper looking tube? It's nothing, it's just the air goes through that. I don't think we need to take apart this bottom part. You know no. what it does, it spins. Let me know in the comments if you want me to take things apart properly from here on out. I'm going to do my best to put it back together so that we can actually use it in our office that we can work on our dirty projects. But if you want to get your own, you can go shop for it at www.dyson.com. Woohoo! Because we need to be Kashidato! Huh? Awesome.